Savings based on a comparison of single and comparable unlimited plans amongst major national carriers as of 127-2021. Fastest overall speed most reliable based on Nielsen Speed Test, latest SEC report, and route metrics. Celebrate summer at Whole Foods Market with berries for your picnic. Get three 16-ounce organic strawberries for $10 through June 15th, plus an extra 10% off for prime numbers while supplies last. Learn more on the Whole Foods Market app. Investors NRIA provides up to 18 to 21 percent returns on their Class A real estate portfolio. Go to NRIA.net for more. For official rules and more information about contests on this station, go to KFIAM640.com/rules. KFI AM640. iHeart Radio Station. 24 hour news. More stimulating talk. Jerry and Shannon, KFI AM 640 live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app on a uh, Wednesday, June 9th. And for Handel today, speaking of, at 8 o'clock, rumor has it, Bill Handel will be along in here, in here, to tell us uh, what's going on and how his back is doing and when we can expect him back in the show. President Biden departs today for the UK. It's the president's first overseas trip of his term. Says he's eager to reassert the United States on the world stage. It's an eight-day tra- uh, trip. Uh, Cal OSHA realizes that they are a bunch of morons and to decided to put together a special hastily called meeting for tonight so that they can moron over each other once again. California Occupational Safety and Health Standards Board reiterated that the state is planning to do away with just about all of the masking and social distancing requirements for vaccinated people starting next Tuesday, Personal Responsibility Day. But that conflicts with the decision that allows workers to go maskless only if everybody in the room is vaccinated. So they're thinking they may need to draw up some new rules. They can't adopt changes without giving at least five days notice. Couples are racing to the altar. There is a wedding boom going on right now in this country. Venues and vendors in high demand. I love the way the AP wrote this up. They said wedding planners and others who make the magic say they've been pushing bookings into the late 2022 and early 2023. I have seven wedding ceremonies on the books for the next three months. Really? No, not one. But but we're available. I was just trying to garner like some. There's a lot. We're in in demand. High demand. Yeah, we do do weddings. You and I. Oh, and I'm a wedding singer. There, guys. We got it all. We've got it all. Yeah. John could put together a wedding DJ list, a playlist, right? He does video, too. Alex could plan the whole damn thing. She's a national award winner. Okay, well, by the end That's of the day, point. we're going to need to start something. All right. Handle on the news continues. It looks like some Trump fans were defrauded. It's Trump's world, baby. We're going to make America great again. You're going to love it. You're going to be very happy. A man in Pennsylvania named Joshua Hall pretended to be Donald Trump, pretended to be Baron Trump, pretended to be another family member of Trump to get a bunch of money. And guess what? He did. Yeah, he would impersonate uh, one of Trump's brothers on social media and say, uh, Josh is doing a great work. Please give him a follow, support him. He also impersonated, like you said, Barron, uh, made a public social media post as Barron stating that Josh Hall was Barron's friend and partner and that Josh is an amazing patriot who's doing tremendous things for our great country. He has my complete and total endorsement. Who, who is following Baron Trump on social media and then giving money to somebody that Baron Trump says you should give money to? People are easy marks sometimes. And they don't deserve to have money. I agree. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, this guy's a bad guy. I think we need to look at the root of this story. Uh... Shannon mentioned this, President Biden on his way to his first overseas trip right now. It's going to end with a summit with Vladimir Putin. This is going to be a big deal for these next few days. Um, Just a quick note about the traveling. One of the reporter planes that was supposed to be traveling with the president, actually headed to the UK before Biden, had to be delayed seven hours because of the cicadas. The charter plane that they were going to get on was over was overtaken by cicadas, and 
when he got off Marine One this morning and was walking across over the tarmac to go to get onto Air Force One, there were giant cicadas attacking him. I mean, like landing on him, and he has to fight them off and stuff. The, ki the cicadas are really out there living they, their best life right now. People are eating them even. They showed up on weather radar yeah. in the D.C. Yeah. area yesterday because there's so many of them. Don't play. <laughs> Well, uh, some parts of the U.S. are going to meet the president's vaccine goal by the 4th of July. <laughs> Including California. 14 states have reached 70% coverage among adults. And uh, the president was saying that he had hoped to have 70% of the nation vaccinated by the 4th of July. And as of Monday, the CDC said 51.7% of us they gotten at least one COVID-19 vaccine dose. Yeah, and four, I think it's 42% are fully vaccinated. It's slightly higher than that here in California. But you remember, this is what the president said back in March. If we do all this, if we do our part, if we do this together, by July the 4th, there's a good chance you, your families and friends, will be able to get together in your backyard or in your neighborhood and have a cookout or a barbecue and celebrate Independence Day. That doesn't mean large events with lots of people together, but it does mean small groups will be able to get together. I'm tired of people telling me that I can have a barbecue. This is not April of 2020. Well, and is he looking at any sporting event for the last several weeks? There's that, too. Even even just baseball games. And not all of them are at full capacity, but in, in a lot of places, especially throughout the South, all the Texas teams are playing in front of full capacity crowds now. I mean, if they can draw Fauci remains on the variant train. He warned yesterday that the possible threat of variants is a reason more Americans need to get vaccinated. He says that the variant first detected in India... Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't call it that. Oh, we don't say uh, that. Alpha we don't Omega, say where it came from. Alpha Omega Chi? Delta. Delta. But, it's del but what's funny is you can't say that without then also clarifying well, which Delta came, is the yeah. one that came from India. Right. The way Shannon said it is the way that I noticed one major news network is saying it now, where they used to refer to it as the India variant. Now they are saying the variant that was first detected in India. I'm fine with that verbiage. I'm just not okay with naming these after the Greek alphabet because it's actually important for us to know where the variants originated from if we're going to start with the global travel. It's also, I said this last week, I feel like it it diminishes the global aspect yes. of what this is. If right. we start saying things like uh, B117, what the hell is that? Where is that? Do, because it's not, they don't all have three numbers. Some of them are B1. Some of them are B11774C. If we're trying to None take, of that means anything. If we're trying to take this seriously, let's treat it seriously and not give it cute names. Okay. Or we do give it cute names of like things that everybody likes, like variant chocolate chip cookie and variant pancakes with syrup, and because then it sort Don't of. Don't say pancakes with syrup if you're not going to produce them. I went to Cracker Barrel two weeks ago, <gasps> and um, my son had pancakes and my daughter had French toast, and I. What did you have? Cheers. Because all I did was went with the hash brown casserole. Mm. Oh, with the cheese oh, and the oh, oh, oh. My bacon. husband's on like a <laughs> breakfast burrito kick where he's trying to find the best breakfast burritos near us. That sounds like a good adventure. Oh my gosh, yes. Come home, there's a different breakfast burrito in the fridge every day. <laughs> Can I just give a shout out to Legends? It's one of these like small little mom and pop chains though in SoCal. The Mess Breakfast Burrito. Ooh. Mm. It's, I mean, whatever they throw in that thing. They put a sauce on the top of it, or is it breakfast no. burrito in that it's dry so you, you can gotta hold, put a hot sauce on that thing? You gotta put some hot sauce yeah. in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, handle on the news. We'll continue in just a moment. We lost time there, there for now. a minute. <laughs> Jennifer Jones Lee has the news. 13 states are now meeting President Biden's 4th of July goal early. Rhode Island, New Hampshire, Pennsylvania, New Mexico, Maryland, Washington, and here in California have 70% of adults with at least one COVID-19 vaccination. Pfizer is hoping to get COVID vaccine approval by September for 5 to 11-year-olds. And students in Iowa won't be learning critical race theory. Governor Reynolds ban teachings that focus on racial or gender identities as opposed to lessons about history, health, and science. 
We'll take a look at their your drive on the 605 with BKFI in the sky next. A lot of reasons that people have to sell their house. Uh, sometimes those reasons are time sensitive. Maybe you're moving out of state. Maybe you're downsizing. Maybe there's some financial issues or even legal issues. Maybe you inherited a house that you don't want anything to do with. And you're thinking about all that needs to be done, right? The cleaning, the painting, the repairing, the staging. What if you didn't have to do any of that? Yeah, what if you could have your home sold for a fair price without any of the hassle? The buyer never has to walk through your house. What if you could sell it without an appraisal? You pay no commission, pay no fees. And what if you could get paid in cash and get it done fast? Like, we're talking 10 days or fewer. Listen, this is exactly what directbuyers.com will do. Directbuyers.com is a local, it's a family-owned business. They've been around since 1986. This is not some random, uh, impersonal national call center. We, in fact, sat down, uh, met the owners, Janet and Matt. They're wonderful people. You can trust them. They care about their clients. We trust them. There is local accountability with them. You can talk to them whenever you want. There are a lot of bad actors out there. Like you said, national call centers. Don't mess around with that. Don't sell your home until you talk to directbuyers.com. See what they can offer you. They'll give you an honest no obligation offer. They can even get you $15,000 cash advance before closing to help with that move. They're not going to lowball you. Directbuyers.com. That's directbuyers.com. 844-242-SELL. 844-242-SELL. Directbuyers.com. Swing into the summer sale at Ashley Home Store and take advantage of 45% off plus 36 months no interest financing. Don't wait. Get it today. Enjoy today and pay over time. New living rooms as low as $26 a month only at Ashley Home Store. This is home. See store for details. SoCal weather from KFI, partly cloudy with highs mid-60s to the low 80s. This report is brought to you by Ashley Home Store. From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center, we make it easy. We've got a crash on the 605. It's in Cerritos on the 605 northbound before the 91. The carpool lane is blocked. Somebody hit the center divider, overturned, but they ended up on their wheels. But they're facing the wrong way here in the carpool lane. You're going to start to feel some pressure there through Artesia Boulevard. KFI in the Sky is sponsored by injury attorney SuperwomanSuperLawyer.com. Jeff Baugh with Big Rig Preble in Baldwin Park. You betcha. Well, big old truck. Anyway, here's a transition that you cannot make. I hope you catch the Robin's warnings about this, but it's on the eastbound 10, the San Bernardino Freeway. Transition to the north, 605. That's the transition that shut down. Looks like it's going to be there for a while. It's not even a tow truck inside. CHP's waiting for him. So if that's what you wanted to do, uh, before you pass it, get off of Peck Road up to Ramona. That'll help you get to North 605. Go past it, Baldwin Park, again, up to Ramona. You get on North 605 without too much trouble. Now, some really good news for this northbound 5. There was a problem at Paramount that we saw in our last report. Uh, freeway Service Patrol, thanks to them, we got it all clear for you, so all lanes are open. So a little slow from Norwalk up through the 605 to Paramount. After that, it's good, but then real slow up through the East LA Interchange. A problem North 5 to the North 5. It's still slowing everybody down. More on that 605 situation coming up. Injured in an accident, visit superwomansuperlawyer.com. Jeff Barr, KFI in the sky. Back to Colton on the 10 westbound at the 215. That's an injury crash in the left lane. You're going to be sitting in lots of traffic almost back at the 210. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Robin Banks. This report is sponsored by Grocery Outlet. This week at Grocery Outlet. Stock up on Thomas Farms 93% lean grass-fed ground beef, just $3.99 a pound. Also, assorted varieties of Pillsbury dough are buy one, get one free. At Cedar sinai we're right here for Los Angeles. Here for the inpatients, the outpatients, and the new patients, too. Here to educate, one question at a time. Here to innovate through research and specialized treatment. Here to help with over 2,000 community volunteers. Here to heal with more than 250 locations in Southern California. It's why we've been here for over 100 years. And it's why we're right here if you need us. Cedar sinai we're right here. Real estate is one of the most tax-efficient investments and a great way to diversify your portfolio. But the hassles and costs of managing properties is about as much fun as having a root canal. Hi, Greg Hughes here with Hughes Private Capital, a real estate investment company. We pay our investors a set monthly income, which is backed by the strength and safety of our portfolio of over 1,000 homes in the most stable real estate markets in the U.S. 
And the best part, you won't have any landlord frustrations or expenses. And talk about tax-efficient investment. Most of our investors don't pay taxes for the first nine years of their investment with us. We also offer a 1031 exchange option where you can sell your investment property tax-free and become an investor with used private capital. And with today's interest rates being so low, now's the best time to leverage your investment and earn a 17% return. To find out more, go to nolandlordproblems.com. That's nolandlordproblems.com. Or call us at 888-300-9393. That's 888-300-9393. Could you use a change in scenery? Why not make yours happen right at home with a quick outdoor makeover your family can enjoy for years to come? From renovating that old crack driveway to adding an inviting new walkway or patio, you'd be amazed at how much a simple outdoor update can completely transform your outlook and your lifestyle. I'm Larry Green, CEO of System Pavers, America's number one designer and installer of elegant outdoor living systems. Our big change sales event is going on now to help you save a bundle on your brand new view. Call 800-PAYS-004 right now to lock in exclusive low prices and special financing. From driveways, patios, synthetic turf, lighting, and more, our experts are ready to help you make a change today. Get started by calling 800-PAYS-004 and save like never before during System Pavers Big Change Sales Today. 800-PAVE-004 or SystemPavers.com. All orders must be placed by June 30th. An installation must commence within 60 days of sale. Financing subject to third-party approval. See website for full offer details. Contractor's license 661575. Get it for hugs, get it for date nights, for live music, home games, and haircuts. Get it for eating at your favorite restaurant, for grandma's birthday, for graduation. Get it for your loved ones and the essential workers. Get it for all of us. When it's available to you, Blue Shield of California encourages you to get the COVID-19 vaccination. Get it for California. I want to break free. Ready to break free? Norwegian Cruise Line is back and sailing this summer. Get back in the Caribbean or take in the stunning sights in Europe. And with our robust health and safety programs, you can cruise confidently. Book today and enjoy 30% off all cruises, free open bar, free airfare, and more. Visit ncl.com, call your travel advisor, or 1-888-NCL-CRUISE. Offer and soon. Norwegian Cruise Line. Sail safe, feel free. Ships registry the Bahamas and USA. Restrictions apply. Now, another iHeartRadio COVID-19 vaccine update. Looking to get out of town this summer, TSA Administrator Darby LaJoy says it's going to get busy. In addition to ensuring availability of staff to meet increased passenger volumes, both canines and enhanced technology will play an integral role in TSA's checkpoint strategy. LaJoy says he expects the federal mask mandate in airports and on airplanes to remain in place until at least mid-September. Get the latest vaccine info now at cdc.gov slash coronavirus. I go weeks without writing an email to anybody. I don't like you know, typing. You're not trapped with a phone call. You're supposed to say I gotta go, which is fine, but I sometimes I can't do that. No, I gotta go really works. Like you have to pee? John and Ken. Right, I make it sound like I have a terrible side for you. I'm gonna really sweet day to two on KFI. <laughs> Gary and Shannon, KFI AM 640 Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app in for Handle today. The Ring of Fire Eclipse will grace the morning skies tomorrow. It's when the sun and the moon cross paths. Speaking of breakfast burritos. There's a evangelist, Christian evangelist, who says that it's going to be the end of times. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, he says it's a sign of the end of the world. Oh. According to the Bible. No. I'm going to say that also. No. I don't know which one he read, but uh, for the second time in as many nights, by the way, a bear has been killed by a car. Where? Up Another near Castaic, one? yeah. Latest, Bay Area, right? latest, Yeah, latest crash last night about uh, quarter to midnight. Eastbound on the 126 near Chiquito Canyon. Uh, about the same time Monday night, officers found a stretch of I-5 right near Cherry Canyon where a Nissan Altima hit and killed a bear. By the way... How does an what? Altima uh, take out a bear? You're going fast enough, I assume, but the car is total. Yeah, I bet. You have a hummingbird buzzing your head. I Outside do? the window. Oh, it just went where by. Is it? You guys... Oh, Literally just went it. by. My wife has had she didn't make it anyway there is a hummingbird nest outside one of our windows oh. and for the last couple of weeks every morning she would go and check 
the hummingbird, and there was a little, you could see an egg in it. Finally, the bird hatches. <gasps> Two days ago, the, burbs, the, burb, the bird is nowhere to be seen. The bird hatched and is living its life. It's right. left the nest. Okay, well, let me just tell you, as a parent, that's a little harder to swallow than it might sound. Why the it's bird? not just the bird leaving. You gave the bird everything, right? You gave the bird your time. You made little sugar water for the bird over and over, every single day, dutifully. And what does the bird do? The bird doesn't even say goodbye. The bird will the bird be back. Is, oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the bird will the be bird back. The bird will be back. Sure it will. The bird heard what happens in the Hoffman household to birds. Are we going through house. something? No, we're not going through anything. Hmm. Panel on the news continues. Millions of dollars worth of marijuana from 500 illegal grows in the Antelope Valley. We're going to have Steve Gregory coming up on this, who, along with Jacob, did some great reporting work on, I believe it was an exclusive, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, I think they uh, they were able to yeah. do this just them. They broke um, it. So, fantastic news. And again, 730s, we're going to get all the details from Steve. There was a guy in Santa Rosa who got stuck in the shaft of a vineyard fan, but he had a good reason for being in there. Okay. It was the reason. He said he wanted to take pictures. Now, the re what's the real reason? He was a high on meth. There we go. Oh. oh. <laughs> How does high on meth translate to, I want to climb into a fan Oh, shaft. you can do all sorts of things on meth. <laughs> I do appreciate, Deputy, say they did find camera equipment on the guy. Oh, so he did have, well, what is it, does that... But they also said they found more meth than camera equipment. Does my phone <laughs> count as camera equipment? Uh, maybe. Okay. All right, coming up next, all we need to know, all the latest details about the charges and the murder of six-year-old Aiden Leos, right here on The Bill Handel Show. News without the skew. KFI. And KOST HD2. Los Angeles, Orange County. Live everywhere on the Air Radio app. Getting the latest, I'm Jennifer Jones Lee, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. Excuse me. The Orange County DA says the gun used in the road rage killing of a six-year-old boy was registered to the man charged with his murder. DA Todd Spitzer says Marcus Ares faces life in prison if convicted when Lee faces four years for felony accessory after the fact and a weapons charge. He was the one that fired the firearm. She's the driver of the vehicle. And so based upon our review of the evidence, we did not believe we could also file murder charges as against her at this time. Spitzer says there's no evidence anyone else helped the two remain undetected since Aiden Leos was killed last month. He says at least one tip helped, but the half a million dollar reward requires a conviction. The couple's arraignment was postponed to next week at the OC Central Justice Center, Corbin Carson, KFI News. The LA County Sheriff's Department has led an operation targeting illegal pot growers in the Antelope Valley. Sheriff Villanueva says deputies, agents, and officers have served more than 200 warrants at more than 40 locations. We were at one site, the one that had 74, which is the largest we've ever, ever seen in LA County. We're estimated one crop out of that facility is worth $50 million. KFI Steve Gregory, who was the exclusive radio reporter on this story, will join Gary and Shannon with all the details of the bust coming up at 730. The city of L.A. has been working to make it impossible to miss a shot of a COVID-19 vaccine. Mayor Garcetti says the clinic is opened at Union Station that will give people a chance to get the vaccine on their way to work or going home. For the majority of people who are left, it's not that they're against vaccines. They've kind of been waiting or they've been working so hard, it's really tough to find the time. This makes it easy. At L.A. Trade Tech, an army of volunteers has been canvassing neighborhoods around the city to find people who haven't had a shot. The LA County Board of Supervisors has approved a measure to allow expanded outdoor dining to live on past the pandemic. Supervisor Catherine Barger says allowing restaurants to continue using more outdoor space on sidewalks and streets will help speed the industry's emergence from the pandemic rules that cut into profits. The restaurant and hospitality sector face a long road to recovery, and I believe we should support this industry in any way possible. The measure also throws the county support behind a pair of bills in the state legislature designed to ease outdoor expansion for restaurants. L.A. County's moved ahead with an expansion of mental health crisis response teams. The teams are made up of unarmed mental health professionals, and their charge is to respond to people in the middle of a mental health crisis. And it's time to treat mental health emergencies with the same attention and resources that we treat physical health emergencies. Supervisor Janice Hahn says the federal government will be offering up more funds. And that could give us the opportunity to finally expand our psychiatric mobile response 
teams. And the plan is to shift to 24-7 availability by next year and to increase the number of teams. Chris Carlo, KFI News. President Biden has left the U.S. for a week-long trip to Europe in his first trip overseas since taking office. ABC's Elizabeth Schulze says Biden's first stop will be the G7 stum summit in Cornwall, England. The president's trip comes a day after he called off infrastructure negotiations with a key GOP Senate negotiator. While he's in Europe, the White House says the president will stay in touch with a separate bipartisan group of lawmakers trying to hammer out an infrastructure deal. Biden's first meeting will be with the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson and Queen Elizabeth. And the seaside village in England that is hosting the G7 summit is the center of much more security than normal. Tourist Sue Bates says police are everywhere. This is just a totally surreal experience. The amount of police presence is, is phenomenal. Uh, it's got to be the safest place in the country to be at the moment. President Biden says he wants to use the summit to encourage other leaders to tackle global challenges. We've got a wreck on the 91. Well, if you're trying to get out of Corona on the 91 West Bend of Cold Canyon, there is a two-car crash. Everything moved over to the right shoulder. You will find, though, that the Westbound 91 pretty darn crowded from the 15. KFI in the Sky is sponsored by injury attorney SuperwomanSuperWarrior.com. Jeff Foss and clearing on the 605. Yeah, some real good news now if you were uh, approaching this 91. Northbound 605 out to 91. So it was kind of a complicated crash here for a moment, but cleared very quickly over to the right shoulder. So if coming up from the 405, a little slow from about South Street and then up to the 105. But that's kind of where your morning drive is going to start if you can continue north, especially going through about Telegraph and up to the 60. Southbound morning drive slow, coming down from Rose Hills, but so far so good. Carpool lanes are looking good. Came over to the 710, that's in pretty good shape. A little slow around the 105, but basically a good drive up to the I-5. Oh, by the way, uh, this North 5 East LA problem uh, going North 5 to North 5, that cleared. It's just slow going through. Injured in an accident, visit Superwoman, Superlawyer.com. Jeff Ball, KFI in the sky. Still working in Colton on the 10 West Connector of the 215 southbound. Left lane's blocked. Your drive jams up at California Street. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Robin Banks. You've been skipping out on your dental appointments for years because you have anxiety? Well, maybe it's not necessarily anxiety. You're just... You're afraid of getting bad news about your dental health. Cunning Dental will take care of that bad news. They're not going to yell at you. In fact, they specialize in people that are scared of the dentist, people that need major work from years of dental neglect. And think about this. Everybody loves a nap, right? They can do all of your dental work while you sleep. Gentle twilight sleep, even full anesthesia if you need it. They'll repair years of neglect in one or two appointments. You simply wake up to a new smile. It is dental treatment done without anxiety. Dental implants, crowns, root canals, smile makeovers, even full mouth implants done in just one day. There is no other dental office like it. They've been rebuilding smiles for more than 52 years with four generations of dentistry. Now you can sleep through any procedure, $500 off on the sleep treatment, and it's good with all of those procedures. Call 888-640-SMILE, 888-640-SMILE, 888-640-SMILE. Cunning Dental, making smiles great since 1968. Hi, it's Dr. Wendy Walsh. The weather's getting warm and businesses are starting to open. We're all going to be socializing in shorts and skirts. But if you have varicose veins, that's not a happy thought. That's why I want you to call West Medical for their state-of-the-art, minimally invasive varicose vein solutions that will make your legs look incredible. Those veins aren't going to heal on their own. Call the vein experts at 1-800-WESTMED. Treatments covered by most PPO insurance. That's 1-800-WESTMED or visit westmedical.com. I feel incredible because I called one. 1-800-WEST-MEDICAL Your KFI financial report is brought to you by Bay Alarm. The Dow is down 18, S&P up 4, NASDAQ up 45. Gold is 18.97 an ounce and oil is 70.45 a barrel. The KFI Money Report is brought to you by Bay Alarm. Now offering virtual security consultations using your mobile phone. Visit BayAlarm.com to get protected today. Partly cloudy today with highs mid-60s to the low 80s. That's your forecast for tomorrow. For the weekend, we'll see highs in the low 90s. And by next week, highs will hit the low 100s. Right now, it's 65 in Anaheim, 56 in Laguna Niguel, 60 in Malibu, 57 in Arcadia. We lead local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Jennifer Jones-Lee. Don't get lost in the moment. Don't give up when it's close. It's okay, you know, it's okay.
Okay. Gary and Shannon, KFI AM 640 live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. It's Wednesday, June 9th in for Handle today. We have a huge show this morning. First of all, first of all, speaking of Handle, he's coming up at 8 o'clock and one hour from now, Handle will be here in studio to tell us all about his Indiana Jones adventure. Steve Gregory is going to join us at the bottom of this hour. We're going to be talking about the uh, L.A. County Sheriff's Department, the lead agency on a series of marijuana busts, hundreds of illegal grows in the Antelope Valley area. That'll be coming up at 7.30. We've got uh, Justin Warsham coming up at 9. Dean Sharp to round out the show by 9.30. It is a full show today. It's packed. It's huge. Well, we have chronicled this story since it first began more than two and a half weeks ago. Mother taking her son to kindergarten. He is in a car seat in, in the back. And they're driving on the 55 when there's a road rage incident with another car. And someone in that car fires a shot, and it takes the life of six-year-old little Aiden Leos, who did not die immediately. In fact, was able to tell his mother, my stomach hurts, as he lay dying in her arms along the 55 there during the morning commute. It took a couple of weeks, but officials were able to track down 24-year-old Marcus Ares and uh, his girlfriend, 23-year-old Winnie Lee, and she was driving. He was in the passenger seat when whatever happened, someone got cut off, someone cut somebody off, somebody flipped somebody off. Marcus Ares thought the best thing to do was to peel off a shot into the back of, uh, of Aiden Leos's car. It is the definition of second degree murder. Firing into a crowd is the example that is most used where you may not mean to kill somebody, but you know that what you're doing could likely end in someone's death. And that is exactly what implied malice is, and that is exactly what they are going to charge this guy with. They have charged him, and it looks like the girlfriend, Win Lee, was charged with accessory after the fact, which we opined about as well, because you can't prove that she knew that he had the intent to fire off that weapon. Because you weren't in the car. You, it would just be impossible to prove that. Here is uh, Orange County DA Todd Spitzer. Today I am charging... Marcus Anthony Ariz with a violation of Penal Code Section 187, murder with the enhancement of, of the penalty of discharging a firearm causing death. The punishment for this crime is life in prison. I am charging Winnie Lee with Penal Code Section 32 which is accessory after the fact with willfully harboring, concealing, and aiding Marcus Ariz with the intent that Marcus Ariz might avoid and escape detection and avoid and escape arrest, trial, conviction, and punishment for murder. Now, uh, Spitzer also noted there's no evidence that anybody else was involved in the shooting. He said that he called on everybody to not harass their relatives or uh, these people at their homes. This is the, that to me is almost an unbelievable portion of this, that only these two people would be involved and that there wouldn't have been others who helped aid and abet them and help them hide. Although you mentioned that and I didn't think about it. They didn't appear to be hiding. They weren't hiding. When they were caught, they were going out to dinner at a restaurant. Uh, I don't know if they have their head in the sand. I don't know if they thought that they would never be caught. I don't know if they did not see the coverage of this, the global coverage. Uh, but we do have some facts about the two that we've learned since their arrest. We know that he is a former auto body shop worker. He grew up in Weaverville near Reading. He's got family in the Whittier area. We know that he often shared content on social media about cars.